Cases of euthanasia are becoming more and more prominent in society, both in Europe and in the United States. Doctors, parents, and even spouses are deciding whether or not a person should die, sometimes because they have previously asked or because they aren't in a state they deem worthy of life. Father Gonzalo Miranda has taught at the Pontifical Ateneum Regina Apostolorum for 25 years. He's known for being an expert on life, especially euthanasia. Euthanasia is when a person voluntarily causes the death of a person, not for hatred, not for money, etc. Rather because this person suffers or because this person is asked to die. So this other person who causes euthanasia causes the death. That is an action to kill. It is a homicide. Father Gonzalo Miranda asserts that regardless of religious beliefs, a state has no right to decide who is worthy of life and who is not. Doing so separates each person into categories. There are already different categories of people. Why do I say this? Because laws always establish a series of parameters. They say, in these cases a person is a candidate for euthanasia, so to speak. They can die, while in these others, no. Once a country or state permits the option to end a life, he says it's a slippery slope to what can come next. It usually begins if someone has a terminal illness, then it extends to psychological problems until it reaches a point where life is not valued at all. Some people, especially older people who are sick, say they are economical, social or psychological weight on the family and on society. They say it's for the best. I'm already sick, I do not want to live anymore. The family says, well, if you want, we can help you, because it's legal. This is a terrible pressure. It's unjust. That person must be helped to want to continue living. Father Gonzalo says this pressure erases the fact that life is important and each person has value, even if they are unable to contribute in worldly standards to society. The way to reverse this is to help a person in this situation, debating to end his or her life, or who feels they are no longer valuable in society. This means having loved ones show them care, and also investing in palliative care for the person in need. Pope Francis also tweeted about this saying, Euthanasia and assisted suicide are a defeat for all. We are never called to abandon those who are suffering, never giving up, but caring and loving to restore hope.